Hollywood Bet, Durban July. Race one, they sent on their way from the 1300 meter marker. Clean Living's right there, second breath with a good position shortly after the start. Butterfly Beauty, Canadian Summers in the green on the right hand side. Sleeker Silk is between runners at this stage. They are followed by Mighty Goddess, the Black Sleeves and Cab. Kill shot got the yellow and pink silks. Morgan Lafay is a fighter. On the outside of that is Kitty Boy's Girl. Acacia's Blossoms about seven or eight lengths off the leader at this stage. And then we drop back to Miss Daisy and Fellabos in the back seat. About eight or nine lengths off the leader. Clean Living just the leader. Second breath is second. And Butterfly Beauty's at the rail. Canadian Bolts in the green and black on the right hand side. Then comes Mighty Goddess. Miss Daisy is towards the outside and kill shots down the inside they come to the last 300 meters and it's clean living the leader second breath down the inside butterfly beauty and yes canadian summer putting in a claim also running on is miss daisy kill shot down the inside canadian summer comes into the lead now feather bows come from absolutely last running on well it's canadian summer feather bows coming strongly kill shot on the inside it goes to feather bow second canadian summer kill shot ran into that third place how's that for an opener on hollywood bets durban july that's what we're in for today thrilling finishes and it's going to go to number 12 feather boa who came from last at feather boa and picks them up stuart pettigrew the flower alley and that man again richard Faree, comes scorching through it pays up 750 and 230 second number eight canadian summer Third, number two, Kill Shot. Fourth place, number one, Butterfly Beauty, followed by number seven, Miss Daisy. And then came Lady Region. As we look at the head on, the winner on the extreme right hand side, Feather Boa, starts to come forward and really picks them up as Canadian Summer hit the front, looked the likely winner with 100 meters to go. But Feather Boa comes strongly, bred by Vogelbush Drift and Maritz Fontaine for the Jacksons, the Campbells, and Valjalo, Richard Faree, Stuart Pettigrew, and they win the open year on Hollywood Bets, Durban July, race one. Now let's go back to the studio. Okay, we've just seen the running of uh, race number one, the Bloodstock South Africa Sales Cup for his takeoff, 400,000 Rand. And uh, joining us on the winner's podium, Lee Scribante, the chairman of the Thoroughbred Breeders Association. And alongside him is Lance Whiteford, uh, the vice chairperson of Gold Circle Racing Club and a director of Gold Circle. Gentlemen, thank you for coming down and assisting us with the winning presentation of race number one. And first up, let's have the winning jockey, who is uh, Richard Faree. And uh, before we chat to Richard, I'm told that the gentleman that takes care of uh, Featherbow is here uh, to receive his memento and his prize. He is the winning groom, Amvuile Ngedle. You've done an outstanding job, my man. Well done to you. That's your winning prize. It's uh, 1,000 Rand from Hollywood Bets and Gold Circle. And I think there's a special prize for you there as well from Bloodstock South Africa. Give it up for the winning groom, Amvuile Ngede. He's done an outstanding job with his horse, Feather Bow. Next up, we'll have the winning jockey. And what a season that this gentleman is having. He's having the season of his career. Multiple group ones throughout the season. And he'll take that. He'll really take that. The start is an awesome start. It's the start that he wanted, and he's got on this horse for the right time. Richard, hearty congratulations and a great start to what is going to be a wonderful day's racing. Yeah, it's going to be an absolute whopper. The crowd's already full up nicely, so it's great to have that gears and that spirit back on the race course. Uh, we've missed it. Uh, everybody's missed it, so I'm just grateful for the whole public and obviously to Hollywood. They've done us a, a, an amazing job, so congratulations to them. The race itself, uh, you had the draw to overcome, but you took your medicine early? Uh, very simple instructions. He said, lovely filly, don't bustle her, give her a chance. She can quicken, and that's exactly what she's done. Uh, race tactics, I thought I was going to maybe shoot up on the inside, but there's no false rail today, bear that in mind. Uh, when you're taking your bets, and 
I know those two horses, uh, number seven, number eight, like to run out, and oh, when we came into the straight, they were running dead straight for a change, and I said, okay, cool, I can take the outside run, and she won phenomenally so well, and Mr. Berigru, his owners, uh, fantastic start to the day. Well, she enjoyed the fight. She got the job done in race number one. It's very difficult for me to keep you and ask you about the balance of your rides. But for Richard, for re followers out there that are listening into race one's interview, give us your next best. Just one horse that you like. Pomp and power and captain's ransom. Yo, beauty. Richard, Richard, that's your winning memento. Apologies about that. That's your winning memento. Pomp and power and captain's ransom both in feature races, both in big races, both in group ones. Well done to winning jockey Richard Furry. Next up, we'll have winning trainer Stuart Pettigrew. Just bumped into him in the parade ring and said, all the best, yes, Stuart. Your horse looks superb. She must have really traveled down well. Yes, she traveled down very well. Uh, big thanks to New Turf, who brought her down. Uh, she's a wonderful filly. You're going to see a lot more of this filly. I believe she's tops, and she's going to go straight to the top. She's certainly shown it today, the way she's come on and the way she's disposed of this field. And what I liked about the win is that she's got the jets to quicken and she's got the heart to put her head in front. Yeah, she turns it on really well. Flower Alley, Vogelbos, uh, Breda, uh, great to them. But, you know, my good mate Daryl Moore, it was really sad to beat him. But, you know, we have to come here, we race. Sorry, Daryl, but your filly ran a great race and this is a good filly you ran second to. I think the, the best way to, to, to close this interview is to say, a horse seems to find you nearly every C and Stewart. You don't have the numbers, but you certainly got the eye. Yes, but I can't do it without the owners, Anton Marks, um, uh, Wayne Jackson, Mark Campbell. Owners are very important to a trainer. Without the owners, you can't buy horses, you can't have winners. So thank you to everyone. And my sponsors, Hollywood Bets, on their day, great guys. Well done, Stuart. That's your winning memento. You'll receive that from uh, Lee Scribante. Congratulations to winning trainer Stuart Pettigrew. The memento for the winning breeder is Volga Bostrup and Moritz Ventin. We'll definitely hand that to them. And then the winning owners, you heard it. Jackson, Campbell, Marks, and Vallello. The boys are all here. The boys made the trip to Hollywood Bets. Uh, Gravel for Hollywood Bets, Durban July Day. And you in the money in the first. And I enjoyed that interview that you did with Alistair as well. You weren't sounding too bullish or too confident, but you were expecting a good run. We actually were quite confident um, in her ability, obviously. Uh, drawn 12, always going to be a challenge. Uh, I think today she's shown that she came from last. I didn't think there was a pace on, which was a bit of a worry. Uh, she's got gears. Um, Stuart's liked her from day one, which is great. Um, we'll decide now what to do with her, maybe put her away and let her just grow and mature. Uh, well done to Mary, uh, to Volkabos Drift. Uh, Richard, great ride. Uh, to my partners, to Anton, to Wayne, uh, to Clint, who's watching at home. Uh, to the girls that are watching at, the, at home as well. Uh, well done to them. Uh, fantastic. We couldn't have asked for anything better. Huh? Anton, uh, plan to the T for this race? Sorry? Plan to the T? Yeah, exactly. Uh, draw wasn't in our favor, but uh, we thought we'd come down... Uh, Give it, give it a chance, and uh, yeah, luckily it came off. Happy, happy to have a winner on July Day in the first one. Fantastic. Congratulations. This day has started off superbly well for the team. Yeah, thanks, Tiz. Absolutely. Having a winner can't get any better. Thanks to everybody involved, Stuart especially, and to all the people at the stables that do the hard work. Last word. Uh, Hollywood bets. Wow. I mean, this is unbelievable. I've been to many Julys. Uh, 1991 was my first one. Came here, and I said, one day I'm going to have a runner. On July day, today we had it. Uh, then I said I'm going to have a winner. Today we had it. So fantastic, Hollywood bets. What a spectacle, huh? This is phenomenal. It's exactly what racing needs, and uh, onwards and upwards. Well, the platform has been set. It's the inaugural sponsorship. Well done, guys. That's your winning memento. The winning owners of Federbau in race number one. A big thank you again to Lance Whiteford, who is uh, a vice chairperson of Gold Circle and the uh, Gold Circle racing director as well. And of course, uh, to Lee Scribanti, representing the Thoroughbred Breeders Association. He is the chairman of that association. And race number one, guys, on Hollywood Bets, Durban July Day, belongs to Featherboa.